Are you guys ready for possibly the most insane hunt video that we have ever filmed? Let's check it out. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have an absolutely ridiculous, just flat out insane hunt video. We went over to the Wayne, New Jersey toy show last weekend and uh, this is a show that I've actually been to before but it's been a good three or four years since I've actually made it over to the event. Of course now we live in Massachusetts so going down to New Jersey for some events and toy shows isn't something that we can do all the time. However, we were in the area visiting family so I figured you know what let me get up early and go check out the show and it did not disappoint. So instead of me telling you about it, why don't you guys check out the footage and see it for yourselves. Alright guys, so we are up bright and early to go check out the Wayne Toy Show. And I used to come here a few years back, but it's been a while and it looks like it's pretty big. Just me today, because uh, Joanna decided to sleep in. But we're going to go check it out and I think they have some pretty cool stuff that you guys will not be disappointed to see. So let's go see what fire we can find at this amazing toy show. Here we go. All right, so here we go. This is the entrance of the toy show and right off the bat you can see it is Pretty huge. So we're just gonna come around and I'll just start showing you guys Typical stuff that they have. There's a lot of different booths. So there's a Marvel Legends booth right here, which is pretty cool Lots of awesome stuff. There is a ton of Funko Pops. So I'm very excited to see what some of these vendors have we have a booth over here. Looks like we have a few sodas. We've got a chase, some sort of autographed Majin Vegeta, which is pretty cool. A lot of awesome stuff. Now we got here pretty early, so the, some of the vendors are still setting up. We've got some Pokemon cards here. No, no, no. Got some Star Wars action figures, which is pretty cool. This is awesome. Got a nice wall of pops back there. No problem. Pretty cool. <laughs> I see you're still setting up. Yeah. I hope you don't mind me filming. No, no, it's all good. All good. You don't mind a little bit of a mess. No, right it's now. okay. I understand you're still setting up. <laughs> is it okay if I show this off right here? Yeah, go ahead. This is pretty cool. So this is old school, 2010 San Diego Comic Con, 480 pieces. Nice little wacky wobbler there. That's pretty cool. It's coming around. I see we have Luke Skywalker's helmet. Absolutely love that. Continuing to come around. Another shelf of pops. And there's a whole other room in here as well that we'll have to check out in just a little bit. Coming over here, let's see, we have some Guardians of the Galaxy, some Marvel stuff, always great to see. Right, we have some Matchbox cars here on the table, which is pretty cool. Look at that Walking Dead truck. Love the Batmobile right there, that's pretty cool. The DeLorean, Mystery Machine, pretty awesome. All right, coming around. So we'll head down this aisle. There's a lot of stuff, so I'm gonna try to capture everything as best as I can. A lot of comics, a lot of miscellaneous. Here's some more pops right here. Some Masters of the Universe, pretty cool. How's it going, boss? Everything negotiates. That's always good to hear. So we have some Star Wars Black Series figures. We've got some Batman Art Series here. What's up? Slapshot? Yeah. Watch on YouTube, right? All right, guys, so I actually stopped to talk to somebody really quick who had recognized me from the channel, which was pretty cool. So getting back to the hunt, we have the uh, special edition Ahsoka right there, Hot Topic General Grievous, 
coming over we have another booth uh, i had to do a voiceover unfortunately because there was a lot of music blasting in this area of the toy show and coming around we have the ghost rider ride this is actually the glow in the dark px previews exclusive that one was a little damaged unfortunately they had a couple dragon ball z pops um up there some how to train your dragon pops which were pretty cool um, a bunch of awesome exclusives. They even had this little duel on Mandalore Lego set. And then coming over here, this was the Mac Daddy booth right here. So we're going to go through all these amazing grails here, starting with the New York Comic Con Darth Vader. They had the brand new LA Comic Con Two Face. They had a Chase a little gruesome soda just sitting right there. The Artist Series Boba Fett. And then coming around, they just had an absolutely incredible wall of grail so starting off with the glow in the dark funko shop loki nycc 2018 glow in the dark killer frost world war ii emerald city comic-con con sticker captain america signed rick flair glow in the dark funko shop spider-man the og chris paul hero killer stain from new york comic-con a golden frieza a chase metallic og joker OG Green Arrow, which is just a flat-out amazing DC Grail. They also had the 480-piece D23 Steamboat Mickey, Mickey Mouse, which is just awesome. They also had the White Power Ranger Freddy Funko, limited to 525 pieces. The Doctor Strange Freddy Funko, which was 400 pieces. Kingdom Come Superman Freddy Funko, Willy Wonka Freddy Funko, and Kylo Ren Freddy Funko. Then coming down here, we have the Plutonium Marty McFly, Glow in the Dark Doc Emmett Brown, OG Tails, OG Leonidas, Baby Milo, the Glow in the Dark Reverse Flash, which I would love to own someday, Glow in the Dark Dark Side, NYCC Con Sticker Captain Rex, Chase OG Robin, Chase OG Flash, Chase OG Wonder Woman, OG Chase Batman, NYCC Con Sticker Supergirl, Glow Chase Skeleton, White Phoenix, the regular Green Phoenix. We had a bunch of Electro Pops. We had the OG Wolverine. There was the Blue Stealth Iron Man, Con Sticker Red Hood. A, a couple more Freddies up here with Colonel Sanders. There was also the other Superman Freddy Funko. We had a pair of Glow in the Dark White Lantern Flashes, um, both Con Sticker, the Arrow, and Flash. The 1000 piece Artist Series Boba Fett, Glow in the Dark Deadpool from Harrison's Comics, the Glow Chase 1000 piece Japanese Spider Man. We had a Glow in the Dark White Phoenix, Glow in the Dark Ghost Rider, Sheldon Cooper, Ray Mysterio, and Glow Chase Jason. And Voorhees. This was an insane booth, and I thoroughly enjoyed just looking at all of these pops. And believe it or not, guys, that was just the first section of the booth. Coming over, we have a bunch of Star Wars pops. We had a Con Sticker Princess Leia, a 442nd Clone Trooper, Jango Fett, the OG Robocop. We also had the 2017 SDCC Scare Glow, which is a glow in the dark exclusive. We had the Blacklight, White Rabbit, Glow Chase, Ronald McDonald, OG Heimdall. We had the OG Loki over here, Loki from Thor Ragnarok, Thor, or a bunch of other Lokis right there, Chase, Ironheart. We also had a Blacklight Harley Quinn, 5,000 piece Britney Spears from a Hot Topic, another Blue Stealth Iron Man, Peyton Manning, Drew Brees, Blacklight Captain Marvel, Imperial Palace Chase, Robin, Car Cal Naughton Jr., Ricky Bobby, John Gerard, Two Face, Pikachu, Diamond Squirtle. The Joker from NYCC, the OG Oompa Loompa. There was a bunch of great stuff at this booth. I thoroughly enjoyed just looking at everything they had. Whoever put all these pops together did a really good job. And uh, quite a few of them actually had my attention. And I did end up speaking to the guy at the booth for quite some time after I filmed the video. We also had a 500 piece little gruesome pop from Hanna-Barbera that I had never seen before from 2015 San Diego Comic-Con, right next to one of my favorite chases, the Punisher chase holding the Daredevil mask. We also had a metallic blue lantern. Uh, we also had the 52 reverse flash, Batman chase, Vanya chase, another blue lantern, Flash, as well as Black Widow holding the shield, OG Black Widow, Scarlet Witch from Civil War. 
Black Widow from Captain America, The Winter Soldier, a bunch more Marvel Blacklight Pops, Diamond Alien, ECCC Army Man, Original Black Suit Spider-Man, Yakko from The Animaniacs, which I believe is the last one that Joanna needs for her set, a couple Powerpuff Girls, Diamond Funko Shop Selena, which we pulled from a, re- a mystery box recently. Uh, let's see. We also had the Marty McFly from the Canadian Convention. Jolly Roger, which was a Disney Parks exclusive. Count Chocula holding the cereal bowl. We also had a couple football pops. Tom Brady, Peyton Manning. Just uh, so much amazing stuff at this one booth. Thoroughly enjoyed looking at everything. And if you were in the area for this event, this one booth alone was well worth the price of admission but we're going to keep going and we're going to turn on to the next aisle so moving into the second half of the toy show there were still a lot of other booths with some great funko pops Um, and like i said in the beginning of the video a lot of people still had bins and buckets and boxes out because they were still setting up for the show i got there bright and early because i wanted to be one of the first ones in to see all of the amazing collectibles on display so coming over to this booth we actually had a trio of die cast pops here of batman iron man and captain america a sign Signed Moff Gideon by Giancarlo Esposito. Some signed anime pops, which I'm not familiar with those characters. I apologize, guys. A signed Kevin Conroy Batman from the animated series. We also had some Futura pops, some recent Funko Shop Disney Princess exclusives, some Sailor Moon pops, which caught my eye because I believe Joanna is missing one or two of them for her collection. That three-pack is really cool. We had some brand new NYCC exclusives that just came out recently. We also had the brand new Toucans, which this was the first time I saw them in person. He actually had all three at this booth we had some blacklight jimmy hendrix and then moving over here we had some ad icons and a lot of the prices at this booth in particular were very very fair we had the james bond pop ride we had ant-man on anthony we also had some dc pops A lot of great stuff at this one. And at this booth in particular, they also had some old school dorbs, which I thought were pretty cool. Some of the dorbs are very underrated in my opinion. Now moving over, we also had some other pops tucked away underneath here. Uh, We had Emma Frost dorbs over here, a couple limited piece dorbs, an OG Punisher right there. And then moving along into the next section of the booth, underneath some comics, we had some more Teen Titans Go Pops. The R2-D2 Blue Box caught my attention. We also had a couple Marvel Pops. I saw some Mega Vault. And some of these were just tucked sideways, I believe, just because he didn't have enough room to put them all on display. Moving up to the next booth, we had some bigger Pops up on the top shelf there. This person was also playing some very loud music, so that's why I'm continuing with the voiceover. They had a six-inch Thanos, which was an Entertainment Earth exclusive. Um, This booth in particular had a lot of Black Series Star Wars figures, which which was really cool. Grand Admiral Thrawn in particular caught my attention. There was also some really cool G.I. Joe figures. And then moving into the next aisle of the toy show, we had a cute little Boo Dorbs right here, which once again, I had never seen before. So always cool seeing a lot of different collectibles that you don't always see. And then moving into this booth, these guys were actually very nice. I ended up talking to them for a few minutes after I was done filming the video. They had the BTS 7-pack, which this thing is massive. Kudos to you guys if you actually have room on your shelves for this one. Here we had the Batman animated series Funko Pop once again. This one was unsigned. We also had a Rat Fink, a couple of Chases. Uh, really liked how all these pops were actually in pop protectors. We had the brand new Boba Fett right there. And all of these were $10 each, which I thought was a very, very good deal for a lot of those really cool exclusives. Now, coming over to this booth, what caught my attention was not the Funko Pops, but rather this artwork. And the artwork designs at this booth were really, really cool. The Mandalorian poster caught my attention right away. They also had a really cool Ghostbusters poster as well as Stan Lee, Loki, a couple wrestling posters. They also had some Venomized stuff. 
and some anime characters. So the guy I actually spoke to, he explained to me that it was all done by a local artist in the area, and he does commission work as well as regular prints on a regular basis. So really, really cool to see a local artist being featured and uh, just a lot of great stuff. And a lot of the pieces were limited and originals like this one, which was a Jack Skellington and Sally always together right there. I contemplated picking that one up for our studio, but I'm not sure where we put that on the wall as of now. So coming over to this next section of the toy show, if you guys can believe it, we are still going. Um, over here, this person was still setting up, so I didn't want to impede too much on their progress, but they had a nice little corner over here with all of their pops, nicely stickered with their prices and everything. They also had some OG Ad Icons Pez, which caught my attention. And then moving over here, right off the bat, we have a 10-inch Blacklight Hulk, which came out recently exclusive to Target. He had a couple Avengers Deluxe Assemble Pops, which was cool. A bunch of great Star Wars exclusives, including Omega, Ahsoka, the Mandalorian holding the child in his jetpack. We also had the Luke Skywalker from Amazon, the Chrome Mandalorian from Amazon, as well as Ahsoka from Amazon. Love that one, the hooded Ahsoka. We also had Master Chief down here, a bunch of wrestling props, a bunch of Disney pops, including the Pirates of the Caribbean treasure skeleton. This was the Disney Parks exclusive. We also had the Death Watch Mandalorian, as well as the Stitch, Scrumpf, and Angel three pack we also had the mickey five pack down there as well as some more die cast pops and even an og scarecrow from all right guys so they got the black light hulk we have the star girl here which i think is very very underrated we got a bunch of other stuff it was good talking to you man oh look at this we have the cosmic ghost rider with baby thanos that's a great one. Oh, it lights up oh Oh, that's super cool. That's awesome. Thank you. Oh, look at this. And they even have the Justice League black and white Superman, Darkseid, and Assad, which were 4,500 pieces. Oh, that one's a great one, too. The jumping Marvel Collective for Venom. I've actually been looking for that one. Awesome. Coming over here. All right, so I think we were able to cover just about everything in this room. So now let's go check out that other smaller room that I meant to check out before. I think I saw some other pops and stuff in there. So, but this has been insane, guys. I hope you've been enjoying this video as much as I have been enjoying making it. So, all right, let's see. Oh yeah, I see some pops back there. Let's see what they got here. Oh, we got a cool pin table here. All right, so we'll start over here. I see some Umbrella Academy Pops. The Chase number five, which is pretty cool. All right, let's see. Some more Space Jam, some art series. Very cool. Oh, here we go. We got some great autograph stuff. Now forgive me guys, I am not an anime collector, so I am not familiar with some of these characters, but I know a lot of people are. Oh here, look, we have the old school Avengers Captain America, that was actually my very first pop back in 2013. Alright. How's it going? How are you? Got the Blacklight Batman, which is always a great one. Some Halo Pops. Some more Sailor Moon. Got Tuxedo Mask. Just pretty cool. Lots of anime down there. This is all anime. Alright. So we'll pan over this because I always get complaints from my anime viewers. There's also uh, one anime statue up there. Oh yeah? Alright, cool. Some Inuasha Pops. If I'm saying that correctly. Oh, we have a Chase Super Saiyan Goku. Got a Chase Korra. Lots of great stuff. Oh, we have some Pokemon Pops tucked away down here. Blocked Bullpix, Diamond Flareon. Another Chase. Very cool. 
Coming around here. Oh, it looks like we have another booth. What's going on? Oh, look at that. I haven't seen that one in, the, in a while. The Patina Imperial Palace Robin. We have some sodas. Not very many sodas here today. I have not seen these in person yet. The Amazon exclusive Infinity War four pack, the Blacklight four pack. Those are pretty cool. Oh, look at this one. This is the Infinity Gauntlet six pack, as well as the Glow in the Dark Zombie Pearl Jam five pack. Those are pretty cool. Coming around here, we got some Pokemon Pops. Which is pretty awesome. Oh, thank you. All right, I think this is our last section of Pops for today, but we saw some killer stuff. So I'll just pan over this section. Zombie Captain America, which is pretty cool. I see we have some Walking Dead Pops which is great. And one of the great things about these toy shows, guys, is you can usually negotiate and get some really, really good deals. Love that old school Punisher. Oh, look at that, we have Ah Real Monsters. Some Rugrats. That's my favorite Black Panther pop, hands down, the unmasked Black Panther. Still miss, miss Chadwick Boseman. Look at that one. That's pretty cool. Don't see that very often. And then coming over here, this looks like to be our last wall of pops for today. All right, guys, so this is the booth for NJ Collectibles and Supplies, and they have some big stuff. Check this out. I have never seen this pop in person before, or at least I've never been this close to it. I'm not an anime collector, like I said before, but this is the Planet Arlie Fujita. That is quite a big pop. Quite an expensive pop. We also have the Chase Gremlins, Chase Jason Voorhees. And look at that, seven bucks a pop signed Mad Hatter. We also have the Flocked Bunny Suit Ralphie, Unmasked Captain America from the Winter Soldier, Glow in the Dark Doc Emmett Brown. Some great OG basketball ones, LeBron James. We have the Glow in the Dark Harrison's Comics Ghost Rider, Glow in the Dark Dark Side, the Emerald City Comic Con Phoenix, which is on my want list for 2022. We have the original Dark Phoenix there. Oh, look at that con exclusive Green Yoda from last year. Some Han Solo pops, which are awesome. Coming down. So yeah, this is just gonna wrap it up and um, we'll see you guys back in the studio and we'll check out what exactly I picked up. I think we're gonna be doing a lot of shopping in the next few minutes. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this and we will see you in just a second. All right guys, so as you saw from the footage, it was absolutely breathtaking. My jaw was pretty much on the ground for a majority of my time. I just do just wanna give a shout out to the people that were running the show. They were incredibly kind. We actually reached out to them the night before. We let them know that we were coming over and we asked them permission if we could film and uh, they were extremely accommodating. So I just wanna give them a huge shout out and make sure you guys go check out this toy show if you are ever in the Wayne, New Jersey area. They have the show about once a month and it just continues to get even more crazier as the months go on. So you definitely, if you want to, if you're in the area, you definitely have to go check it out. So even though they had some really crazy grails and all kinds of stuff I would have loved to pick up from my collection, the only downside with this hunt is I unfortunately was only able to walk away from the show with only one pop. Now the pop I did get is awesome. It's one of my favorites that came out in 2021 and I'm very excited to have grabbed it. Unfortunately though, a lot of the sellers and uh, retail uh, retail members at the booths were no longer accepting PayPal. So in the past, I've gone to a lot of shows, mini cons, toy events, pop swaps, what have you, and uh, we typically like to use PayPal right on the spot, friends and family, it's good. Um, however, there have been some changes to the new PayPal guidelines, and now a lot of people are no longer accepting PayPal as a form of payment. So I was very shocked. Uh, most of the people were only accepting cash, 
And uh, I myself am not one to carry more than $20, $30 around worth of cash. Maybe it's my generation, maybe not. Anyway, uh, they missed out on a lot of sales and uh, I think they would have regretted it because I was prepared to pick up quite a few things. But anyway, there was one seller, I did have a little bit of cash in my pocket and I was able to pick up a pop that I desperately needed for my collection and this is the Year of the Shield Old Man Steve. Absolutely love this pop. He's got the shield in the backpack. If you guys remember from Avengers Endgame, right before he hands it off to Anthony Mackie's Falcon. And um, I got this pop from Amazon. I pre-ordered it. It came and it was damaged. So I am very excited now to have a mint one in the collection. And uh, I also had a great time talking to a lot of people at the toy show. Maybe you guys caught it in the video, but a couple people yelled out Slapshot as I was filming. And that was extremely cool and a very humbling experience to meet other collectors who knew exactly who I was, who have watched our videos and seen a little bit of the channel. So that was very cool. Um, it was just a blast getting to interact with some other collectors from around the community. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this crazy hunt video. We got a bunch more hunt videos on the way as we've been getting some very good feedback from our hunt videos. So we're going to try our best to keep them coming. And we have a long list of places that we want to check out in the very near future. So let me know down in the comment section below which pop of all the pops that we saw in the video was your favorite. And if money was no object, which one would you grab for your collection? As always, guys, don't stop shooting until you score and we'll see you all very soon.